welcome back ladies and gentlemen boys and girls cats and dogs and guinea pigs we had a special request we have to say a massive hello to a guinea pig called dave there we go yeah one of you guys really really wanted me to say that so yeah welcome dave and everybody else that's watching this video in today's video this is episode number six of the one to ten thousand pound challenge the support has been absolutely mind boggling bish bash bosh ripperoni pepperoni whatever you want to call it it's been absolutely bonkers so without further ado i think we must be on like over 200 pounds we've got all these football shirts to sort out as well so yeah hopefully you do enjoy this if you do smash that like button subscribe if you're new around here and let's get a little bit of a wiggle on Boom. so we've just entered the charity shop and we've just hit probably like seven spoke trousers and a pair of asics but i'll deduct it off the value now but we should definitely uh do very well with these Men's trousers for a pound as well. Get the joggers. What a bargain. Oh, yeah, I love the joggers. Bosh. Oh, £43. Pound. Gone through? I think so. So I wasn't actually going to come in this shop because it's a vintage only charity shop, but I'm glad I did. A pair of sanders, £3.50. Sort of like crocodile effect. We'll definitely take that off the challenge. So I would have picked these up. They are Mountain Wales brand new, £10. But Mountain Warehouse currently have a sale on this exact model and colour for $22.99. So, uh, yeah, we're not picking them up. And we'll also take this for 15 Nice vintage DM Levis Hatchel bag. Should be able to get like 80 Cheeky uh, Billabong, $3.99. Got to be like 20 in that, surely. Depending how expensive these are, depends if we pick them up. But Billabong Platinum decent lights like the higher range of billabong look at these shorts proper fresh if the price is right they'll well take them bad boys but yeah decent collection billabong platinum be on the lookout but before we do go and do some listing or go charity shopping or sourcing we're going to accept this offer uh build a bear pikachu not as good money as i thought but 11 pound plus postage is better than a kick in the teeth. Oh yeah. So in the previous video, I said that we got a load of football shirts and this is the first one we're gonna list of the series. This is the 2017-2018 England third kit. And like I said also, third kits can definitely demand a higher return in investment. So definitely be on the lookout for football shirts. And if you strike lucky and get a third kit, you're in the money. So let's get this listed for about about 50 quid. Just a quick tip as well, always make sure you take a photo of the label in almost all football shirts. Football fans like to see the label to see that it is actually a legitimate piece of garment. So, label photographed. So, we are now listing a 2009-2010 Tottenham shirt here. It's actually in really nice condition for the age. It's just a little bit of a shame it's the wrong part of London. Uh, but, in fact, it's a nice juicy little money as well, to be fair. So every football shirt that you're going to see in this episode is a £6. And we're going to got a listing value of 30 on this one. Again, photo of the main. Photos, photos, photos. Important. Take photos of the labels. So now we're going to list this 2005-2006 England uh, football shirt. Not really much to say. Apart from, it's coming home. Should be listening to this for about 25-ish, I would have thought, off the top of my head. Really nice condition. Happy days. Now we're getting into, uh, back into domestic football. So this is Manchester United 2015 home shirt. There is a few marks on the sponsorship and on the sleeve. I have made that, well, I will make that uh, noticeable in the description. But overall, it's in decent condition. Um... Do I think Man United are going to have a good season this season? I think they could be uh, a bit of an underdog, if I'm being honest. But I don't care. I'm a gooner. We won. Crystal Palace 2-0. Happy days. We're off to a flying start. Manchester United, uh, 20 quid, I think, because of the, um, the marks. But if they didn't have the marks, probably 22 to 25. 
so there isn't that much difference but we'll list this for 20. And now we're gonna list this Fulham Wembley 1975 strip, well, T-shirt. This is in fact by a company called Score Draw. So they do like an official replica of shirts. Obviously, if this was the, the original 1975 shirt, you could be probably looking at about triple figures. But unfortunately, it's a reproduction, but still should be aiming for about 30 pound. So, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to sit there and list every single item in one big go uh, because it's probably not as entertaining. So, what we're going to do is uh, potentially go and source some new items or just do something a little bit different away from sourcing just to keep it a little bit more entertaining because I can imagine just sitting there listing football shirts for the next 20,000 hours you guys are probably going to click off the video. So, I will get back to you with either an update on a sale or if we go and source. But I'm happy to get at least six football shirts sorted out now. So that's a good, good start. Happy days. And I think we're going to probably make a little bit more money than I first anticipated. So yeah, I'll let you know what happens next. So, change of scenery. We're actually in the office. It's an absolute bomb site, But we have had a offer... I think we're going to accept. Got it up at 40. They've offered £32 plus some postage. That's another £32 in the kitty. So we are back from the charity shops. It was beautiful meeting up with Jess and Callum over at Mavpan. Um, absolutely quality guys. Took me around a few charity shops. So I thought, why not record? See if we've got any bits for the challenge. And by geez, did we get some nice pieces. In this episode, I'm not going to go through the spoke trousers because there's a lot of spoke stuff and we still got a lot of football stuff to pick up. However, I will list and go through the four items like the Billabong stuff, the Dot Martens bag, the satchel is beautiful. We'll go through that and the Sanders as well. And then we'll finish off the episode with the football shirts. I don't want to just cram everything into this episode because this could be a long episode depending on how many sales we get. But yeah, absolutely lovely to meet up with them guys again. Quality, quality resellers. Anyway, let's get a wiggle on and uh, let's get some listings done. So the first item that we are going to be listing for the challenge is these pair of Billabong Platinum Performance uh, Thingy Me Bobbies. Swim shorts, that's what they're called. Absolutely wacky design. Absolutely love the parrots and the tropical palm trees and all that good stuff. Should be able to put a listing value of about £20 plus a little bit of postage for this. Not bad considering it owes us only three quid. Yeah, so definitely be on the lookout for Billabong Platinum. Billabong Surfwear and Surfwear in general is definitely um, it's definitely on the up for sure. Um, I mean, I haven't sold too many of it because I don't really find that much of it. But when I do, I always give it a look. So let's get this listed now. Sticking with Billabong, we're going to be listing this brand new, proper, old school, like baggy surfer chino shorts this sort of stuff flies really really well on depop like i said billabong is definitely like is that it's quite a big thing in the community at the moment especially in the depop community that billabong sells ridiculously fast hence why i picked these up these are a size small so you're probably looking at 30 to 32 inch waist brand new navy nice little billabong hit there uh yeah bish bash bosh let's get it listed wow wow wee wow it's hot. Gee! Are you ready for what we're listing next? Wow! The beautiful DM satchel leather bag. Beauty. Paid 15. We'll get this listed in and around the £80 mark. There's only a couple on eBay for about 85 And we, uh, yeah, look at that. That is a freaking wow! thing of beauty. Yeah, I don't really know what's got into me. I think it's them, uh, it's that new cereal that I'm on. That thing, I don't know what it is, but it makes me crazy. I think it's like peanut butter chocolate balls. I think something like that. But gee, I'm, I'm feeling good today. And the last item of this little bit of uh, session, we're going to list these beautiful sort of like crocodile skin, alligator skin sort of... Sanders, yeah, that's how you're gonna advertise something like this. It has that pattern on it, it's like a crocodile skin, maybe even like I don't know, it looks pretty funky. Really nice condition, 
Sanders is a strong, strong brand. Should be an easy 30, 30 pound plus postage. So, uh, enough waffling, Ramage. Let's just get him listed. So it's in fact the next day and we actually sold both pair of billabongs in the same week, which was crazy. We sold these ones, which was brand new, long navy chinos. We sold that for 23 pound plus postage. And then we sold the Billabong Platinum Collection, sort of more like a uh, broad walk shorts. Beautiful condition, really nice colorway. Pretty, pretty cool. Sold this one for £18 plus of postage. All adds to the kitty, meaning that we're getting ever so closer to our £10,000 target. Right, nice couple of Billabong sales just on the screen then. So that's giving me the motivation to list the rest of these football shirts. We've got eight more to go, which we're going to get completed in this episode. So yeah, enough waffling on. Let's just, uh, let's just get this stuff listed and uh, create some activity on the store and hopefully maybe push one or two maybe one more sale in this episode anyway let's get a wiggle on so the first one we're going to list is this 2015 away liverpool shirt again owes a six pound and should be looking at anywhere between 30 and 35 pound it seems to be quite a rare one uh yeah a few pulls but nothing to really worry about the next football shirt we are going to be listing is this unofficial Umbro uh, England double XL. That's probably the reason why I did pick this up because of the size. The size will sell this really nice. It's got that retro vintage style to it. Really, really nice condition, like no pulls, no marks. I'm gonna list this for around the 20 pound plus postage. We are now gonna be listing this 2012, 2013, sort of like training track jacket. It's really, really light. It's got a beautiful purple, black and white colorway. And I should be getting anywhere between 30 and 35 pound plus postage for this. So let's get that listed now. Now we are gonna list this 2016, 2017 Liverpool black and silver and beautiful like ribbed, ribbed. Uh, football shirt, UK size large, should be an easy, again, 30 to £35 plus postage. This one and the white one seems to be pretty, pretty rare and pretty uh, sought after. So, uh, yeah, better money than I first anticipated. But it's only money if we get it listed. So, let's get a wiggle on, let's get it listed. Now, here we have a bit of a grail when it comes to football shirts. This is a 2013-14, I think. Think Portugal a third kit. Like I said in a previously in this video or in this episode, third kits. If you're lucky to find some third kits, definitely worth picking up because they don't get mass produced as much as the home and the way shirts, and they are very, very, very collectible and very rare to find. Uh, this should be an easy 35, maybe pushing the 40. I'm gonna uh, stick my neck out a bit and aim for 40 plus postage. But again, I won't get that if it's not flipping listed. So enough waffling on. Let's get this bad boy listed. Yeah, probably the most underwhelming shirt in this batch, to be honest. This is a 2019 Manchester United shirt. Not really much to say about this. It's gonna be 20 pound plus postage. So without further ado, let's get it listed. Now this is a beaut. This should be about a 30 pound shirt. This is a 2002 to 2004 England reversible World Cup shirt. So you've got red on this side and blue on the other side. Like I said, it's an easy £30 plus postage. And again, only owes us £6, so happy days. And the last item that we're going to list in today's episode is this 2005-2007 England shirt. We've all probably seen this once or twice in a lifetime. It's probably worth about £22 to £25 plus postage. So we'll get that listed now and uh, just sit and wait. So... Do you remember this t-shirt that we listed literally like 33 seconds ago? Well, it sold for £25 plus postage. Um, sometimes it's all about giving them a bargain. I've made my money on it. The other guy's got a bargain, so we'll add £25 to the kitty. And that, guys, is probably one of the last clips of the episode. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs and rabbits. Thank your beautiful faces so much for watching episode number seven or whatever we are on. Um, 
I will leave a total listed value here now so you know how much we've got listed towards the £10,000. And then obviously the kitty uh, tallies up throughout the video. I think we are honestly really doing really, really well. Considering we only started with a pound, we're absolutely smashing it. And we haven't been to a car boot yet, which might change in the next couple of episodes. I'm just keeping my money tight to my chest at the moment. Um, obviously, when we go to car boots, we get a bit giggity and we uh, spend a lot of money. Well, I do anyway. So I want to go in there. I, initially, I wanted £100, but now I think I want like two, £300. I just absolutely smash it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, please do me one favour. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. We are literally like 13 subscribers off of 5,000. So spread the channel, spread the love, spread the video, spread, 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 spread this channel like butter. And I'll see you beautiful up in the next one. Boom.